Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it informational. If you do, smash that like button for me and be sure to subscribe if you're not already. All right, on with today's video. I got lots of cool stuff to show you this week. Most of this stuff is from the July local diecast swap meet. A bunch of uh, club members helped me find stuff that I was looking for, but there are a few items from eBay. A couple of those eBay items is one of them is this Matchbox Moving Parts Henry J. Gasser. Pretty cool card art stuff and it's got a opening feature, moving parts, tilt hood. Uh, this is the second release. I believe there's only two releases so far. And this release, I was looking forward to my local stores for the longest time and I never ever saw one. So I don't know, the way my luck goes, I'll probably hit stores as soon as I put out this video. Uh, but it, I live in Wisconsin, and it seems like we get everything last here. Like, it'll stuff will be released for six months, three to six months sometimes, before it actually makes it to our area. So um, I wanted to make sure I got one, so I just ordered it on eBay. This is the first release. So now I have a complete collection of this Matchbox version. Uh, Hot Wheels also has a Henry J. Fantas inspired fantasy car. I think it's called the maybe the Havoc or something like that. I have to look it up. But it's uh, got a huge. It's also like done in a drag car style, but it's got like a huge wing on the back. It's also a Henry J inspired drag car. That's the Hot Wheels version. And I think there's like 20 to 30 releases of that one. So that one's been out for a while. But this Matchbox one, these are the only two releases for this Henry J gasser from Matchbox. So now I have my collection complete on those. <clears throat> We're going to open up both of those in the video, so I'll just set those aside. Uh, let's see, a couple items I got from friends in the club. I think my friend Bill uh, gave me this. Um, 64 Dodge A100 from M2. This is the Ram Chargers 65th anniversary release. Pretty cool. Uh, retro drag racing style. I think the Ram Chargers was a group of Dodge um, engineers that were into cars and drag racing. And they had like a little side program. I'm not sure if it was uh, sponsored by Dodge or they just did it on their own. But they had like a little group called the Ram Chargers and they built some really funky uh, concept drag cars that they would actually take to the drag strip and test them and stuff i believe i could be wrong if you guys know more about it feel free to leave a some info in the comments down below but we're going to open up this one pretty cool 65 64 technically dodge a100 uh let's see another one that i got from a friend in the club I forget his name now because he's a newer guy. Uh, he gave me this Zamac, or sold me this Zamac for, you know, real reasonable price. I know these are, the Cool Combi is real popular. And, like, this is a Walmart exclusive Zamac. So, these are going for, like, I don't know. I think I looked them up on eBay once and they were, like, 10 bucks or more. And it's just a dollar car. So I think I got it for just a couple bucks. So he was a good guy about it and didn't like upcharge me, even though he probably could have like sold it on eBay for more. Um, nice to have guys in the club that aren't all about profit that are looking to help other people out. So I just needed one to open for my collection. So we're going to open that up in the next segment of the video. Uh, this is also one that I was looking for for a while that never really hit stores. So I ended up having to buy it on eBay. This is the Vanster, which is a fantasy van that I collect. And this is from a Batman set. And I want to keep my Vanster collection complete. 
so I needed to find this to add to my collection. Uh, here's some of the other vehicles from that little series. It's like a premium mainline set. You know, probably cost more than a, maybe more than a dollar. It might be like a two or three dollar car because it's like got special artwork and it's part of a set. So we're going to open that up. And then from SC Diecast, I got a couple items. I'll try to include a link in the description to the SC Diecast Facebook page. I do a lot of pre-ordering there. Uh, great local people, great customer service, great, great prices. This is uh, a new Johnny Lightning Dodge van. Mongoose Factory BMX team. And they have like a couple different releases that have just been released or coming out soon that are like mongoose and bmx themed and i have some of those on pre-order there's some of the other cars in this release so we're going to open that up check it out and then this uh mighty minivans from auto world this new uh fairly new new casting from auto world this dodge minivan Dodge Caravan. Technically, this is a Plymouth Voyager release, but there's not a whole lot of difference between the Dodge Caravan and the Plymouth Voyager, other than maybe like the style of the grill. I think that would only be would be the only difference. I have one of these already, but I kind of like this all silver version, so I picked up another one. I'm probably not going to be collecting every release of this because i know auto world likes to just keep reproducing and reproducing and reproducing in like a hundred different colors and i don't need a hundred different colors of the exact same design so um but it is kind of cool to have a couple so we'll open that in the second half of the video so if you want to get comfortable i'll grab the turntable adjust the camera and we'll start ripping into this stuff one thing i realized is when i was showing the car dart I uh, didn't get a good shot of the <clears throat> the little premium facts and whatnot on the card art. So if you're interested in that, I figured I would give a little closer view of it in case you wanted to read that stuff. Provided my camera is willing to cooperate and wants to focus. So there's some of the limited edition premium facts so there's that one and then there's some info here on the uh, Johnny Lightning Dodge van Let's see if I can get it to focus kind of hard to read because the the writing is like underneath the the blister and I think once I tear the blister off you're not going to be able to read it. it's going to it's going to mess up that uh, writing. So hopefully you can read most of that. But yeah, we'll start ripping. Okay, first we'll check out this M2 65th Anniversary Ram Chargers release. Candy Matic Race Crew. It's got the cool red and white stripes on top which was I think kind of like a Ram Chargers thing just got the skinny stock tires underneath give it a spin on the turntable here pretty good looking van for like a stock looking Dodge E100. Doesn't look like it's like the lowered hot rod style or anything. Not bad. All right, next up we'll check out, how about another Dodge? Here's uh, the new Johnny Lightning release, the Mongoose BMX. a shot of the base treaded rubber tires raw metal base the 
tail lights, race BMX, California plates. Give that one a whirl. I think it's been a while since I got any Johnny Lightning vans, so it's cool to get a couple of new Johnny Lightnings to add to the collection. Maybe we'll see if we got time. Maybe at the end of the video, we'll do a couple shots of the collection. We'll add a couple of these to the display cases. Helps me remember what I do and don't have. Keep screenshots of it on my phone. So when I'm out shopping, I'm like, did I have this one already? Did I buy it yet? I can kind of confer to my phone and double check. All right, let's see. How about one more Dodge? We'll do a Dodge Caravan. Or actually, this is a Plymouth Voyager, technically, uh, from Auto World. Let's see if it says Plymouth on the bottom or not. Not sure. Let me take a look. I don't believe it says Plymouth on the bottom, but the print is so fine. It's really hard to tell. I'm assuming the, the licensing would just be like a generic like Chrysler Corp or FC, FCA or whatever. FCA. Fiat, blah, blah, blah. Got a roof rack. Give that one a spin. Pretty cool, all silver with the silver wheels. It almost looks like a two tone from the angle of the lighting, but uh, I think it's all silver. I think it's just like the shadow of the panel. If I tilt it up, it looks all silver. See how it has that? You can kind of see the white white lead or white line tires on it white walls they're probably supposed to mimic the like stock hubcaps they look kind of 80s 90s style so that one's cool add that to collection uh next up we'll check out this vanster two-face from this premium batman set premium mainline Let's see, does it have two different graphics? Yeah. It's always cool when they do that. It's got the gold wheels. But here's image one, where he's just kind of smirking or smiling. And here's one where he's yelling. So it does have two different versions, or two different uh, images, which is always cool. So there's the Vanster. Doesn't look like it says Vanster on the bottom though. But uh, pretty cool release. This one's not bad for a premium mainline. Kind of a, I like the bright red color. Kind of a cool design. So glad I was able to get one of those fairly cheap. Uh, let's see, let's run through these uh, Matchbox. Uh, Henry J. Gasser. Here's a little collector box. I figured I would show that for some of you box collectors. I probably won't throw it out eventually, but I don't know if I'm not going to keep the keep the car in the box. So I'll set that aside. Here's the car. This is the Sunset Rocket Livery, Henry J. Gasser, Matchbox, mismatched wheels. It's got the tilt open hoods. So you can check out the big drag race engine. Pretty 
cool. Rubber treaded tires. And it looks like the rear tires are slightly wider than the front, which is important for a drag car. Makes it more realistic. It says 1954 Henry J. Gasser on the bottom. This one feels like it's kind of heavy. I think the metal, I think it might have a metal base. So give that one a spin. And then we'll check out the second release, the Matchbox Moving Parts release with the Edelbrock livery on it. It's got the Moving Parts feature with the tilting hood. This one appears to be a plastic base and plastic wheels. So a little bit cheaper. You know, probably doesn't sell for as much as the uh, collector version does. So give that one a spin. Next to the orange one, we'll see if they want to stay. Two cool versions. I'm surprised the uh, collector version doesn't have taillight tampos on it. I mean, it's got three sides. It's got, you know, fairly cool graphics on each side. And it's got the headlight paint and stuff. But if you look at the moving parts one, which has got the plastic base and the plastic wheels, that actually has taillight paint and taillight graphics. The collector's edition doesn't. So you'd think that it would, but. So those are the two versions of the Matchbox Henry J. Gasser. Both versions. And then last but not least is the Walmart exclusive Cool Combi Zamac. Yellow wheels. Just plastic wheels, plastic base. It's just a mainline. But it's only sold at Walmart generally. Or eBay if you're selling, buying it on the secondary market. Pretty cool version. Just needed one of those to keep my collection complete. Because I am a cool Combi fan. And I do have... Try to collect them all. All right, that's it for the video, guys. If you want to stick around to the end, we might get some shots of the uh, collection, putting some stuff away. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy, and you can find me on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Make sure you check the description of the video for links to SC Diecast and other info. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right. Henry J. Gas here, both versions. Auto World Dodge and Plymouth minivans. Johnny Lightning Dodge vans. Along with some Ford vans. And some Chevy vans. And some Chevy Express fans. Here's my Vanster collection. Like the one we just added. And the Cool Combi collection. customs on the bottom here and there's the one we just added and the two different color versions